Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we had woke up Talon with a chicken, and we are now going to enter Hyrule Castle, the, uh, the sewer or something. And I guess this is the milk crates that Talon was supposed to deliver, but he never delivered it, I guess? I mean, that can't be good for his business. I mean, he didn't deliver the milk. Then he fell asleep on the property and let the milk go to waste. So, I mean, you know, he's probably not gonna... Yeah, it's probably not good to screw over the uh, princess. You know, she probably wants her milk, you know, or cereal or whatever. I don't know. So, yeah. So, very easy puzzle. I mean, it's not obvious what we have to do. Stack these blocks on top of each other. Please. Right, jump up and line yourself up really nice and roll. Enter Jesus link. I don't know how to enter the hole. It's actually like one of my favorite parts of the game. I, don't, I think it might be the music, which the fact that I think there's a pretty cool area. It's like and like the camera angle is pretty cool. And I'm easily amused, I guess. So basically, you just want to sneak past the guards. They're really easy. Um, just make sure their backs are turned, you know, don't walk right, right in front of them or anything. Like, they, they won't even see you if you're, like, right here. So, you're, you're safe. But, uh... There you go. There's, um... Sometimes there's one guard, there's two guards here. Uh, I guess I go ahead and go right now, actually. What funny, you know, just stand next to each other. Uh, this guy can either go on top, um, the, uh, right there with the stairs, or he can be, um little daredevil here and uh, collect these rupees. Whoa, I'm like really close to him. Anyways, collect those rupees, might as well, really easy. There's two more guys over here. I'm not sure what that statue is. It's like a knight or something, I don't know. But, I always thought it was. I'm gonna wait around for him, come on. I'm enough, sir. Okay, go. That suck. It snowed today, or last night. I think I got a shovel now. It's a huge driveway. I got a shovel. It sucks. Oh, run. Just walk backwards. Just for fun. Oh god, go, 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 go. Please go, go, go. Move, 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 go. Holy crap, that was close. I don't know how to get caught there. I guess they're that stupid. So. Castle Courtyard, it's so pretty! A moat. Let's play in the moat. Oh, actually there's an easter egg I want to show you guys. Um, let's get our... Snake shot out. So... Thank you. If you... I always get a pretty easy slingshot, but... Um, yeah, there's actually a couple easter eggs. Shoot that window, you get 20 rupees. And if you actually look inside the window, see a picture of Mario, see uh, Peach and Yoshi, kind of. Wait, picture Yoshi. There's Yoshi. And you can see um, Bowser. I think Luigi's all the way to the right. Yep, there's Luigi. Kind of see his face. That's, I think that's pretty cool. You know, that's the second Mario Easter egg we found. And if you shoot a um, slingshot bullet in this window, this guard poked his head out. He said, hey, you don't cause any trouble, and he throws a bomb at you. You know, that's a bomb at children. Oh, no, I was trying to throw it back. And then... Okay, let's talk to Zelda now, I guess. Yo, what up, Zelda? Yo, what up? Talk to me. Hi. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Uh, honestly, they're pretty stupid, man. Uh, elephant could walk past them, they wouldn't even notice. Oh, what's that? Is that... a fairy? No, it's not a fairy. It's a, uh... glowing ball of... nothing. Are, are you from the forest? Then, then you wouldn't happen to have a spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Whoa, close up. Do you have it? Now, I've never actually said no. What happens if I say no? Well, that's odd. I thought you might be the one from my dream. You really don't have it? Tell me. Tell me the truth. Do you have it? Yes. 
Why do they even give you the option to say no? It's impossible to not have it. I mean, come on. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billing over higher land of Hyrule. And then suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest. Part of the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure, holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. And who could that be? I know this is prophecy that someone will come from the forest. So she's like psychic or something? I didn't know that. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. Well, I kind of assume you're Zelda. Yeah, you're Zelda. Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Uh, it's Stinky Whistleteats. Or Link. I have two names. Strange and somehow sounds familiar. Okay then, Link. I want to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family. No more stories! No! I don't want to listen to it. No. You can just tell that story to your, your window that you love so much. Well, we've seen this before, haven't we? Three goddesses had the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power grant the wishes of one who holds the Triforce in its hands. What, kind of like a genie, but not as good because you only get one wish. Someone with a righteous heart makes a wish. It will lead higher to a golden age of prosperity. I wonder if this chocolate wrapped up in those uh, little golden triangles. Just open those up and uh, see what's inside. So the ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the Triforce and evil ones. Okay, why would they put it in a temple like? Where, like, it's kind of obviously, like, something's being protected inside there. Like, why not, like, put it underground where, like, it's not obvious? That's me, I, I don't know, maybe that's my way of thinking. The Temple of Time is the entrance to the Sacred Realm. That's pretty cool. The entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. In order to open the door, they said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Another thing is need the treasure the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Cool. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. Yes, I did. That's great. I've got to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. Peeping Tom, come on, Zola. It's not cool. Why are you asking me so many questions, you know? It's like... We look through this window. Can you keep a secret? Do you have the stone? Oh god, it's Green Man! The man who tried to rape my face in my dream! Why is his mouth open? Is it panting or something? <laughs> Swears his allegiance. Yeah, right. Oh shit. What are we planning? Murder? Because we're like 10 years old, you know. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it. It was a prophecy. Your father's a dumbass. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. You must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. Wait, isn't the Gerudo part of Hyrule? So he kind of has always been in Hyrule? Like, now we're the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. You know, I think you're a lion bitch, but I guess I have to say okay. Thank you! I, I'm afraid I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. It's such a terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. Link's just like staring blankly at her like, yeah, okay. Now we're on a fetch quest to find the other stones. Okay, how about instead of me going through all the trouble of collecting the other two, 
I just hang on to this one, and he'll never get it. You know, that'll work too. We got a Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter is Princess Zelda's autograph. It'd fetch a good price at an auction. Okay, so this is um, basically useful for one time, I guess. Alright, see ya. Oh my god, who's this now? More cutscene dialogue. Nice, nice eyeliner. Nice pointy boobs. Blue shorts. I am Impa, of the Sheikas. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You're a courageous boy. You're heading on a big new adventure, aren't you? Well, yes, yes I am. My role is the princess, blah, something. Teach me a melody, alright. It's an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Just gonna whistle. Yeah, it's a simple three note song, you know, it's... I've memorized every song in this game, basically. All... What was it? How many songs? Is there ten? I think there's ten songs. Let's see a fasting playlist. It's fast. Pointy boobs. So we played the Zelda's Lullaby on our Sweet Potato Ocarina. I don't know why Link's look like books out like that. He's like amazed he can play an Ocarina, I guess. And has Link always been able to play the Ocarina? I mean, did he have one himself before this? He just kind of automatically knows how to play it, I guess. She's gonna help us out of the castle, even though we don't really need help because we kind of stuck our way in ourselves. Should be fine. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. We you mean me and do all the work. You don't do anything. Yep, that's Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. That's where our next stone lies, actually. At my village, Kakariko. Or Kakariko. I don't even pronounce it. It's very. I, I, I found Kakariko. Kakariko. Something like that. So I'm. I'm a royal family member now? That's pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, so. It's a uh, royal family connection, I guess. It's kind of like a VIP entrance. Ticket, whatever you call it. Yeah, and somehow if I want a deco nut, it just makes it disappear. Like, why can't I do that? Why can't I disappear when I throw a deco nut? You know, that'd be so awesome. But no, all I get is a flash. You know, why, why don't I disappear? Anyways, uh, I think that'll do it for now, guys. Uh, next time we will head on into Kakariko Village and uh, see what's up with the Gorons and Death Mountain and all that jazz. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.